Welcome to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast. Use the power of discovering new habits to create success in all areas of life. Body, fitness and nutrition, being, spirituality, passion and purpose, balance, marriage, kids and relationships, business, marketing, sales, leadership and systems. Transform your life by learning how habits work. And now your host, a husband, father, entrepreneur, trainer, coach and warrior. Jesse Yule. Welcome back to the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about the habit of body. How often do you use your body? Well, if you're like most people, Every single day, we use our body to carry, to lift, to push, to walk, to run, to basically move through life. No matter what you do, there is one thing that all of us have in common. We all have one body. It's the only part of us that we actually carry throughout our entire lives. Now think about that for a second. There's nothing else in our lives that we carry with us from birth to when we die other than our body. Literally our entire life, no matter how long or short it is, this is something that we carry with us everywhere. And as I worked out this morning, like I always do every day, I moved, I stretched, I lifted, I, I ran, I pushed, I pulled. But I can remember a time in my life where I felt lost in my body. And let me explain this. I felt lost inside my body on the inside, but on the outside, I thought I was powerful. You see, everything that I had done For about 35 to 36 years of my life, minus, uh, let's say, probably till I was like 9, 10 years old, was all an external part of my body. It was all about output to get me to look a certain way, perform a certain way, and, and just basically to, you know, as I got older, diminish any insecurities. So throughout years of bodybuilding, trying to make myself look as good as possible, Meanwhile, on the inside, I was in as much pain as I possibly was at that time. And it seemed like the more pain I was on internally, the better I tried to look externally just to cover that up. But the feelings that came up for me and my body, you know, back then were this lack. I had this feeling of lack, like I wasn't good enough. And so if I looked a certain way, then I would be good enough. I can remember as good as I looked, still feeling like I wasn't enough, still feeling constricted, still feeling weak. And even not only that, but just feeling unfocused and kind of lost. You see, one of the things is, is No matter if you're in shape or out of shape in this place, people can feel sick. Think about this. Like we know what's going on with our body. You'll hear people say, I think I'm feeling sick. So you can actually feel what's going on in your body. Maybe someone else who may be overweight, they may feel, you know, nauseous. They may feel constricted or they just may feel down. They may people in pain, they feel pain all the time. And then you have this other side of the body where you can feel light, you can feel focused, you can feel powerful, you can feel strong. You can literally feel everything that you're holding into your body. And so as you do this, whether you're on one side of the story, which is feeling lack, not enough, there's another side that I can feel powerful. But the story I want you to really know about is the one that you're telling yourself. Are you actually listening to your body? Because here's what I know. Generally, people do not listen to their body. They unconsciously 
listen to their body and they get this external feedback, but they're not internally actually listening to what's going on. You see, what's going on with your body often reveals the truth. What's going on with your body often tells you what everybody else won't tell you. You see, most people want in this place, they want energy. They want power in their body. They want to be able to leverage their body. You think about this, your body, you can actually leverage more things in your life, in your body than any other area even financially, because the leverage in your body can transfer over to your business to really empower it. Not only that, you can empower so many other areas just by you working on your body. And I don't just mean externally, I mean internally. The better you feel, the better that you can perform inside of business, the better relationship you're going to have, the better mindset you're going to have and the better you're going to feel about yourself this can all be leveraged for power and i don't mean power as a way of using it that's destructive i mean power as in hey i'm putting this behind these other areas of my life and really maximizing what i'm getting out of them you see but there was another time and place and maybe you can agree to this where my body wasn't working. I was abusing my body in ways that did not support me. And so even though I worked out, even though I did a lot of these things, I also abused my body in ways that didn't support me through uh, steroids, drugs, addiction, drinking. And people even today still do this, you know, whether it's food, whatever addiction it is, it's not working in your body in a way that's going to generate power. What does work and what we know to be true is movement. And I don't want to get into specific movement, but I just want to get into movement. We know movement. Movement can get you out of pain. Move can, movement can change your health. Movement can get you out of the place that you felt stuck into a new reality, but it takes you moving in a different direction or multiple directions in order to make this happen. You see, here is what I often find. How often do you actually ask your body what it actually needs? Very rarely will people communicate with their body because they don't think that they'll actually get the answer. Yet, whenever they're sick, they'll always say, hey, I think I'm getting sick or I don't feel good, or I feel tired. So they'll listen to their body in those ways, but they won't actually ask their body what it needs specifically inside of exercise, inside of nutrition, inside of rest, or any of these other areas. We just wait till we feel a certain way, and then we react to it. But imagine if you were more proactive and started asking your body what it actually needs Every single day, every time you woke up, it would move you into the direction that you needed to go. So here's what happened to me. I worked out this morning. And as I sat in meditation, these words came to me. I'm grateful for my body. You see, without this body, I would miss out on so many experiences that my life has to offer. And this isn't just about fitness or accomplishing things, but it's also about how you look and how you feel. Without our body and little to no movement, this would give us no energy. You see, people that stay home on the couch, they have a hard time getting up and getting moving. People that tend to stay stagnant in one place will have a hard time moving and if they can't move they will not be creating energy and if you can't create energy you will have no movement or no momentum to move us forward in life and the greatest thing again that i can tell you is you can leverage is to access the power in your body to other areas of your life it's also the, one of the simplest changes that you can make in your life is to begin 
to physically move your body. And as you do this, it cascades into other areas of life. Now, after being a fitness professional for 20 years, this was the catalyst to often change in transformation inside of clients, inside of people. But what I've found is people that are grateful for their body can accomplish more. People that are grateful for their body can leverage the momentum, can leverage the power into other areas of their life. And the greatest lesson that you can learn from that is when you ask your body what it needs, it knows exactly what it is. All you have to do is listen. So I have a question for you. Are you listening to your body? Are you in tune with your body? Are you communicating with it on a day-to-day -day basis and asking it, what do you need from me today? Because this may reveal the secret to your success and to your results just by asking yourself this every single day because most people will not ask themselves this because they believe they can't actually deliver. And not only that, they're like, man, my body doesn't talk, but your body talks all the time. If you're conscious, if you're unconscious to it, the only things that your body will say is I don't feel good, I feel tired, or I feel pain. Those are the only three things your body tells you when you are unconscious. When you're conscious, your body just moves you in the direction that you need to go. This is one of the things that I start to train my clients, my coaching clients in inside a habit-based lifestyle is to get in tune with their body so they can begin asking it what it needs every single morning, every single day, so it moves them forward into the direction that they need to go. So my final question for you is this. Did you invest in your body today? And not only invest in your body today, but invest by asking it the one simple question. What does my body need from me today? What do you need from me today? And once you answer that question, I can promise you, you will move in the direction that you want to go and your body will support you in wherever you choose to go. I want to thank you guys for being on here today. If you are looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook, where I will be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. If you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle, you may have questions, comments, concerns, requests. Feel free to reach out to me, jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode, have a great day.